In this video, I will explain how you can embed Google AdSense ads in your website. Doesn't matter whether your website is developed in PHP, Next.js, React, or any other technology, we can still embed ads in the website. So let us see how to do that. Now there are two types of ads, auto and manual ads. So if you go to your AdSense account and click on this ad section or here, this is the screen that you will see. There are two types of ads, auto and manual. First of all, let us see how to add the auto ad. So to, if you want to include the auto ad in your website, you will have to first of all turn on the ad ads. And what you have to do is that just click on this edit button right in front of your website and then turn on the auto ads. Okay. So if I go here, here you can see this apply to site button. So you have to just click on that. But before that, you can see that it is uh, preparing uh, the preview of our website. So how the ads are going to look on your website. So it will give you the preview over here. So you can see the preview on mobile devices as well as laptops. So this is how it is showing. So you can see this is how the uh, ads will be displayed on the mobile devices for my website. So if you want to see how the ads are going to be sh shown on the desktop, you can click on this desktop icon and it will prepare the preview. So this is how the ads will uh, be displayed on the desktop version of my website. And over here it is showing how many ads will be shown, five in-page ads. And similarly, if you click here, it will show total number of ads that will be displayed on a specific page. On the right hand side, it is also showing these overlay formats and in-page formats, excluded areas, excluded pages. So basically, with the help of these settings, you can control where you want to show the ads, where you want to exclude the so basically over here you can choose the different types of ads or turn it off as well. So you can see that I have turned on these ads, anchor ads and the Fignet ads. So anchor ads are basically the ones that are displayed at the top of the site or from the bottom of the site. For example, this ad you see over here, this one, this is a anchor ad. The Fignet ads are the ones that are, so if you click on this link, before you land on that page, the ad will be shown in the middle. That is called as Fignet ad. And there is a side rail ads which are shown on the sides of the page. So you can include or exclude these ads. So if you just tick here, that means side rail ads will be shown. But sometimes they are not compatible with your website. So you have to turn it off. So that way you can manage these settings. You can also exclude the ads, for example, on a certain page, you don't want to show the ad. So you can go here and then select the page where you want to, don't want to show the ads and excluded areas are basically the areas where you don't want to show the ads. For example, right now you can see that this is where my ads will be shown. But if you want to dis exclude these ads, you can exclude it. For example, let us say I want to exclude this particular section. So just click on that and then that particular ad will not be shown. And then you can click on apply to site if you are happy. Save it. That's it, the auto ads are now turned on. But before those ads are shown on your website, you will have to add one script in your head section of all the pages. So if you click on get code, you can see here that this is the script. So you have to just copy it and paste it in the head section of your page. Make sure that this particular script is added on all the pages so it's better to add it in the header so common component so that you don't have to repeat it so all the pages basically should have this script okay loaded if this script is not loaded then what will happen is that ads will not be shown okay so it is clearly saying copy and paste the adsense code in between the head tags of your site where you want to see the ads so this is for the auto add so it's very simple the configuration and everything is very simple all you have to do is just uh, turn it on and then paste this code in the head section of your pages the difficult part comes uh, when you're trying to embed the uh, ads manually so if you want to embed the ads manually you have to go to buy ad unit and over here you can see that there are various types of ads that you can select so if you select click on the display ad what happens is that new ad will be created for you basically the ad unit okay this is how it is going to sh uh, shown and then there is a square horizontal vertical uh, options available there as well you can give the ad name as well and then here you can select the response use so it's better to have this 
option is selected as a response and then you can click on create so basically what happens is that new add unit is created so like this and then you can click on get code to get the code that you will have to embed in your pages so if you click, click on that this is how it is going to look like so basically you have to insert this particular thing in the sections of pages where you want to see that okay and that is why I'm saying that it is more complicated to embed that manually especially in the react and the Nexus applications it is not recommended to use this particular manual ads because uh, you will have to write a code to embed this script then create a new component to include this particular stuff and then in the use effect you will have to execute this code so because this is not a traditional application react and Next.js behave differently you have to use use effect and uh, different types of coding is required if you want to use this particular thing in the react or Next.js application but if you are using the traditional application it's very simple just copy this particular code and then paste it in anywhere where you want to see that that's all that is how you can embed the auto as well as manual ads in the website if you have more questions let me know in the comments thank you for watching